Tony. Eyewitness News has learned new developments in the triple homicide we've been tracking since last month. Two teenagers are being held at the state training school right now, charged in the murder of three people inside a Providence apartment nearly two weeks ago. Eyewitness News was the first to report the first arrest yesterday live at 5, and only our cameras were rolling when a second suspect was taken into custody late last night. Eyewitness News reporter Nathan Uosu has been on top of the story all day. She joins us now with more on what she's learned from the Providence Mobile Newsroom. The teenage triple homicide suspects face three counts of murder each in addition to several other charges. This comes about a week after the families of the victims said goodbye to their loved ones. For the families of triple homicide victims, Damian Cologne, Shamika Barros, and Michael Martin, their pain will never go away. He was my only child. He was my life. And now I have nothing. I don't have no grandchildren, no nothing. But the wounds of loss began to heal Thursday morning when police arrested the first suspect in the triple homicide. The second suspect arrested here on Douglas Avenue Thursday night. The grandmother of that suspect tells Eyewitness News her grandson didn't do it. My grandson is innocent and I don't know why they're trying to pin this heinous, horrible incident on him. The two teen suspects were arraigned in family court Friday, but the attorney general says there could be another arraignment. It is the intent of the Office of Attorney General that we will seek to waive them into adult court for these crimes. Police say the suspects knew the victims who were inside this apartment on General Street in Providence, the home of Shamika Barros and Michael Martin. The motive was robbery. Again, I'm going to leave a lot out because of the prosecution of the case. Prosecution, the families hope, will lead to a punishment that fits the crime. These kids died way too soon and in a horrible way. And I hope justice prevails. Coming up new at 6, we will have more from both the families of the victims and the suspects. We'll also have more information about those young suspects, just 16 and 17. But police say both have lengthy criminal histories. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Neka Nwosu, Eyewitness News.